What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Uber Hikari, a.k.a. The Nerd Nigga, here to bring you another video with no frills, just the analysis. And today I'm going to be bringing you Uber Hikari's Christmas special, and I'm going to be asking you guys to tell me what are you thankful for? Um, but first, before I get into that, let me just give you a couple of quick updates. So... A couple of weeks ago, I actually thought that, you know, my computer was fixed. But the reason why I haven't been putting out any videos over the last two weeks is because my computer actually got another virus. I, I just, you know, don't know how that happened. So I had to restore my computer back to its factory settings, its factory default settings. And um, that took a couple of days. My computer was down and plus with, you know, my computer being down and in addition to that, having to take care of my final papers and my final exams, it was just, you know, too much for me. So sorry, I haven't been putting out uh, any videos lately, but I will um, be putting out videos in the very near future. And and plus, you know, that kind of set me back a little bit. So my schedule is all messed up. So now I basically have to, you know, rearrange my schedule so I can, you know, do all the videos that I was supposed to be doing um, during the time that my computer was down. Um, but like I said, today I'm going to be bringing you a video on um, not focusing on, you know, the negative stuff, but doing a, a positive um, oriented video. And I want to ask you guys, you know, what are you thankful for? And um, this video was, you know, kind of spontaneous. I just, you know, had the idea that, to do this video uh, last night. Well, based on my experiences from last night, uh, actually, you know, last night I was sleeping. It was like, you know, 1030 at night and my mother, you know, knocked on my door, you know, saying it's an emergency, you know, I need your help. And so I got out of bed, you know, went to the kitchen, followed her into the kitchen. And <laughs> part of this story is actually kind of funny because she, apparently she locked a pie in the oven. Um, apparently there's some mechanism on my oven that if you, um, you know, there's like this switch that if you, you turn the switch, it locks the oven so that you, you can't open the oven. Apparently it's like a, a child. So like children can't open the oven. Um, but she couldn't, you know, turn the switch off. So she couldn't get the pie out of the oven. Uh, we never did get the pie out of the oven. This is 24 hours later. <laughs> The pie that she was cooking for Christmas is still locked in the oven. Um, but there is something positive that happened as a result of her locking the pie in the oven. And that is, um, she was trying to get the, the pie out of the oven and she decided to like move the stove um, out from where it was located um, to see if she could, you know, you know, just trying different things to get the pie out of the oven. And... Um, she said she told me she was just about to light a cigarette. My mother unfortunately smokes, but she was just about to, about to light a cigarette and she smelled gas. And apparently the the part of the the hose that connects to the 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 stove or the oven was cracked and there was a gas leak. And you know I'm just thinking about, you know, what would have happened if she had lit that cigarette and you know sparked the gas leak. Um, so she had to call public service and, um, you know, they had to, to come out and inspect it and they turned the gas off to the stove and they told her, you know, that, that that's going to have to be replaced before they can turn the gas back on. And so that whole situation um, got me thinking, you know, um, you know, about what would have happened if she would have lit that cigarette and, you know, it would have, you know, sparked the sparked the fire with the gas leak. And so I just started, you know, thinking about some of the things that I would think I was thankful for over the last um, year. And so I'm, I'm I've decided to ask you guys what you guys are, you know, thankful for. Um, three things that I'm thankful for over the last year is first and foremost, um, the birth of my my nephew. Um, my sister is, <laughs> she's 37, so it was looking like it was touch and go there for a second. She wasn't really sure she was ever going to have a child. And, you know, she really wanted a child. And, you know, she was finally able, um, after, you know, she established her career and, you know, got her master's degree and everything, she was finally, you know, able to be in a position where she could, you know, um, be blessed with a child. And so, um, my nephew, Dante Zaire Carter McKinney, that's his full name. And, and here's his picture. Uh, if you can see that so cute, isn't he cute? 
Oh, it's so cute. Uh, was born on May 19th. And I'm just, you know, very thankful that my um, sister was able to have a child. And I'm thankful that, you know, he was born healthy and, you know, um, that he's, you know, a, a very intelligent baby, that he's, you know, just an incredible joy to be around. And I, I just love him so much. And so I'm just, you know, very, very thankful that, you know, he's healthy and, um, that, you know, hopefully he'll grow up and, you know, be, um, uh, just a, just a great human being and, and to be just a, a great man that, that, you know, I want him to be. Um, so I, I'm, I'm thankful for the birth of my nephew. Um, I'm also thankful that over this year for my family, of course, you know, it's always good. You know, I really like the holidays because, you know, I get to spend time with my family. Um, unlike some other people who may not like their family, I actually like my family. They're a little bit crazy, but I still like them and I love them. And, um, I'm always grateful to be around my family during the holidays. Um, that's the main reason why I like the holidays. Um, you know, not because of the gifts or the presents, but, um, because I like to be around uh, my family. I like to, you know, have conversations with them and, you know, laugh and joke with them. And, you know, of course the food, everybody likes the food as well, but, you know, um, mostly my family. I'm just, you know, um, thankful to be around my family for the holidays. Um, also, another thing that I'm thankful for, oh, oh yeah, and I'm, I must say, you know, uh, thank you to my mother and my sister for cooking a very good meal for uh, <laughs> uh, for the holiday, even though the pie was, you know, unfortunately locked in the oven. <laughs> I'm also thankful for, the third thing that I'm thankful for this year is, of course, last but not least, um, YouTube, man, you know, just being um accepted into to, to the YouTube community, being able to make videos, um, being able to become, you know, at least initially a success. Of course I want to be more successful. Um, you know, in the future my goal is to eventually reach a stage where I can apply for partnership and, you know, obtain partnership. But I'm just, you know, very thankful and very humbled by this experience of being, you know, accepted into the to the YouTube community. You know, not just the anime community, because you know I also do my, you know, walking dead reviews, but just being accepted into the YouTube community, um, meeting new friends. Um, having, you know, epic Skype calls that last for nine, you know, nine freaking hours. <laughs> Shout outs to, you know, Uber Black Man and everybody else who keeps me on those those Skype calls. But also, you know, shout out to everybody who just, you know, gave me a chance and accepted me into this community. So uh, shout outs to my man Esper Review, Larry Williams from Otaku Assemble, uh, Joey Sonic fan, <laughs> I mean J-Man from the J-Zone Productions, <laughs> can't forget about um, the Don GT, uh, Darius19R, no Nerdy Moe's Crazy Ass, and uh, of course, you know, Manga Reader Z, who apparently I've heard, you know, doesn't review manga anymore. But, you know, shout outs to all those guys. And again, let me just uh, have your thoughts on, you know, what you guys are thankful for. And, you know, this is, you know, a partially um, a response or at least I had um, Esper Reviews video in mind about, you know, being grateful uh, when I decided to, you know, make this video. So... Um, those are just three things that I'm incredibly grateful for and thankful um, um, for that's happened to me over the last year. And I'd like to know, you know, um, what you guys are grateful for, what you guys um, are thankful for that's happened to you over the last year. So uh, expect some videos to be out in the very near future. And uh, also, as you can tell, this is probably the first video where you don't see me with like a thermal on or just a regular undershirt. Uh, I actually, a cut, like just an hour ago, I came back from having, you know, Christmas dinner with my family. So, you know, I got my uh, Rutgers hat on, my Rutgers hoodie on, and uh, I'm also in my, my room. I'm not in my college dorm anymore. So you just get the bare, you know, white wall background. Sorry for that. But um, this is your boy, Uber Hikari, a.k.a. The Nerd Nigga. And uh, I just brought you another video with no frills, just the analysis. Peace and have a blessed day.